how do we even start this video? I can't believe I'm saying this, but Yui Metal has left Baby Metal. Officially now. It has been a, a weird couple days because we had the release of the new song yesterday and now this. And it's, I can't like process it, but as I've tweeted, I'm kind of relieved that we finally have some like confirmation that she's either gonna stay or leave. Shush. Yeah, it's, I, I, I don't really have any words to be honest. But anyway, so today, Baby Rose have tweeted an announcement and they've put it on their um, website it says, thank you for continuing supporting Baby Metal. We would like to inform you Baby Metal's new beginning, which will be effective starting this month's Baby Metal World Tour in Japan. Um, well, I read the first sentence of this next paragraph. It says, Yumi Metal has expressed her desire to return performing with the group in the following months after last December's performance due to health concerns. I was like, oh, maybe she is. Maybe this is all a big, like, troll. But no, the next sentence is, uh, La, 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 la. However, Yui Metal came to a decision that she will not be performing at Baby Metal World Tour 2018 in Japan and that she will no longer be part of Baby Metal. We thank her for all her contributions and wish her all the best in future endeavours. This month's Baby Metal World Tour in Japan will mark the rebirth of Su Metal, Moa Metal form the core of Baby Metal. We would like to express our deepest gratitude to the fans for continue support and look forward to what's next for Baby Metal. Um, so th finally they've said something because it's been so long because we, we just don't know anything like what is going on with Yui, we just don't know. And, and she, they've also done a, um, submitted a Yui's like mission statement, which I'm really surprised that they've done put this in, but I'm so, so happy. But you can read it for yourself, it's online everywhere. But it's basically a summary, it's like I've decided to leave Baby Metal this time. I'm sorry for all the inconvenience to all those who support the members of Baby Metal, and this is like my decision. Um, I'm sorry I made you sad. <laughs> so, oh my god. Um, but um, there was also a strong desire to stand on stage once again, but there's also a feeling that I am not in my best condition. And now my desire is to advance towards my dream as Yui Mizuno. Um, and her dream from the past. This time I've made a decision. And she says she's thankful and she's blessed of all the happy, all the fun and happy time that they had together. And we'll strive hard to see you again as Yui. Um, thank you very much for eight years. And what eight years it has been. So, for the people clicking on this video and have no idea about the history of Baby Metal and maybe you want more information about why, or well not why she left, but the things leading up to her leaving, I'm gonna go right back to December 2017. Um, there's a show in December in Hiroshima, uh, it's called Legend S, and this was for Sue Metal's coming of age birthday kind of show. Um, all the fans gathered there, and then while they were waiting to go in or something, um, they posted like something outside and online that Yui wasn't going to be part of this show because of, I can't remember the exact words, to her health condition or something so it was like oh, okay but she wishes to um the show to go on so we're like okay everyone was just up in arms like oh my god she's leaving oh my god what's happened what because they didn't really explain like what was wrong with her and then fast forward to may 2018 before that they announced the world tour they also released like distortion and this chosen seven stuff which i still don't i have no idea what this chosen seven is thing is um, so we're really excited hoping that Yui will return and yeah and then curtain comes down it's four girls in like this massive headdress and you can't really tell who they are really apart from Sue right at the front Mo at the back but like it's hard to tell and then they get changed and do the next song no Yui honestly the reaction from everybody online was it was intense. 
so yeah, UV wasn't there, and she wasn't there for the rest of the shows in America. So they they got completely new outfits. They've got two backup dancers. Um, it's a whole new era for baby metal, which they've said so many times. And then they were talking about light and dark, dark side, thinking, or maybe, because they've split the US and EU tour, um, that the US would be dark side, and then when they come to the EU, it would be the light side, and maybe Yui will return, or they'll replace Yui, and Moa won't be in this one. <laughs> there were so many theories, honestly, it was ridiculous. Even theories that Yui was pregnant. That is crap. Um, but yeah, Yui wasn't in the EU shows either, the ones that I went to. Download Festival, she wasn't there, it was just the same. It was just no different, it was the same. So now they've, um, they're doing a tour in Japan this month, the end of the month, with loads of shows and also a Dark Knight Carnival, which is like an extra show, which looks really epic. Um, think, hoping, everyone was hoping that Yui would return and it was gonna be really exciting, that first show, if when she, when you finally see her on stage, everyone's just gonna go nuts. But, and now they released this new song yesterday, which um, if you watched my vi previous video, I've only just uploaded it, um, my reaction to Starlight, just the song, because they've now released a uh, music video, which I haven't seen yet. Um, and that song, everyone was thinking, oh, it's for Mikio because he passed away earlier this year and it was such an, a nice tribute for him and he's, you know, like stargazing and it's the song is about stars and comp like shooting stars and now today they released this that Yui's officially left baby metal oh my heart I felt I felt awful all day I felt just really weird um yeah and now everyone's saying that oh, well, I, I even I thought of it that that song is actually for Yui as well like a Yui farewell and for Mikio, it, honestly, if it was just for Yui, that is so, it's so sad. So sad, like I can't even, I can't even, oh. That verse, that verse in English, if that's for Yui, it's so, so sad, welling up here. Um, my initial reaction when I saw that, I, my heart just dropped. I wasn't, I didn't cry, I didn't well up or anything because it was such a shock. But as I said before, I'm, I'm relieved because it's been, it's been so long since we know anything about Yui and it's now, okay, she's left. I guess it's not as much of a shock as it was if they announced it like ages ago because we, she, is she injured? Everyone says she's got like a knee injury or something, which you can't dance to that level with like an injury like that or that she has some sort of health condition, I don't know. So we finally have closure and Moa and Sue are going to lead Peavy Metal on to another era. Um, I'm actually really, I'm happy because it was Yui's decision. She, if she w was injured, she just, she can't do this <laughs> pan because the dancing is so like full on, there's no, there's just, there's no like break. She didn't go off for a break for half an hour and then go back on. It's just so full on, and it and you're singing as well. It's very demanding. I don't know how Mera does it. Honestly, she is just she's um I don't know. She's not from this planet. She's one of a kind. Um, but yeah, it was her decision. I am really happy actually that she's now moved on and she can pursue some other dreams that she used to have. She's been in this band for, well, was it seven, seven, eight years-ish, um, from such a young age and it, like at such a young age and I'm actually surprised, a little bit back in my mind, I'm surprised that Baby Metal are still going. I'm surprised that they did a second album because it was such a, um, a theme of them being young and then got all these cutesy like dances and cutesy songs slash heavy metal um, that they will grow out of it but they're changing they're changing the second album was different the not too different but it did change a bit and now they're, they're moving on they're growing up they're moving on and Yui won't be a part of it but I'm happy I'm looking forward to what um, this band now have in store for us. I can't wait for these new shows. 
I cannot wait for Dark Knight Carnival. Oh my god, that picture of the um, is it a pumpkin? Like a pumpkin. Oh, logo. Oh my god, <laughs> love it. Um, yeah. I can't only imagine what the girls are going through at the moment. Um, yeah, must be really sad. But they must have known for such a long time. I mean, it's always, it's been in the back of everybody's mind that Yui's potentially going to leave. So it's it's not as big a shock as I thought it was going to be. We kind of knew. So I'm actually glad, even though, oh my God, um, a muse or Cobra Metal, the main guy from Baby Metal. Um, I'm kind of glad that they've stringed it out and not told anybody. I mean, we've had little snippets. Um, what could possibly be wrong with her, but like rumours and stuff. And but they just haven't said anything. They said happy birthday to her on her birthday, which was like, <gasps> but like, inst like gave so much more hope back into everybody. But no. She's gone, it's so sad. I've got Yui on my lap this whole time. <laughs> Funko Pop. So guys, if you don't have a Yui Funko Pop, I would get one now before they go up in price. Um, yeah. Oh, so sad. A little Yui. Oh, it is. It is really, really sad, but I'm trying to like be upbeat about it because oh, for a lot of people, Baby metal and their music affects them in more ways than they can like explain. I mean, their music's just so perfect. It just fits into like my brain. I just, it's just like my perfect kind of band of music. Um, but really, the reason why I like Baby Metal first is the music. It's the music. So if the music doesn't change dramatically, then I'm going to be carrying on supporting them, buying all their merch, going to the shows. And yes, um, their personalities, obviously in the band, are unique and it will change on stage, I think. Um, but really, you're there for the music. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit that. Their music is just amazing. I have a question. What's going to happen to the duo songs like Sis Anger. I mean, JJ Mo already sings and dances for that. Um, like, that I think they, they haven't done Sis Anger in England before, so I don't think I'm ever gonna see that. I don't think, I don't think she'll do it again on her own, unless, I, I really doubt, they, I don't think they will replace Yui. I think they'll just keep, like they said, Sue and Moa, and then they'll have other people, I don't know. They've got that the new picture, which is, if you zoom in, because some people can pick out what like picture it's from, because they put loads of like, stuff around it, but this new picture of Moa and Sue, you can, Sue is looking so different from what she looks really serious and like, like this. I've never seen a picture of that before. I think those two, this picture is definitely two new pictures of them both, I think, in my opinion. And then obviously the five, like, cloak people in the background. Are they the cami band? Are they gonna have more members? Are they gonna have the backup dancers like officially in the group? I don't know. <laughs> or they're gonna have like backup dancers and then switch them around like they sometimes do with the cami band. So please, please don't be sad, please. Yui is a very unique person. She is, when, when, how many times have I seen her? Three of it. So I've only seen her three times and then one headline show. She's she was so she's just the cutest. Um she was always so smiley and she just kind of made everybody happy. Oh she's so cute. So Yui, we're gonna miss you a lot. Yes. I don't know what else to say really. I bet in the comment section it's just gonna blow up. <laughs> um, people, ever since, obviously, um, Yui wasn't in the shows and everything, everyone has been asking me, so what's your theory about Yui not being in the band? What is it? Blah, 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 blah. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I've stopped myself from making like a video about it because I just didn't know what to say. I got I had, not now, but I had so many theories about it. 
and the album. Oh, the album. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with that. In, in my opinion, I think that album is already done. It's done and Yui's on it. Because they must have done it. And they probably, they haven't released it because of Yui. And it's just, oh. And this new, this song Starlight, I think it's an extra. Because of baby Yui and then Mikio. Um, yeah, it's there. It's definitely there. So we, we now know four songs from this potential album. Distortion, Tattoo, Elevator Girl and Starlight. Oh my God. We will be revealed at this show. I really hope they explain what this Chosen Seven is and who they are. And that it's not just the people in the Distortion video because that's just... And also we have Apocrypha, um, the Legend of Baby Metal graphic novel coming out this month and there's three girls in that. It's quite clearly Sue, Moa and Yui because um, they've got dif they've got four different covers, like special ones, and it's like Sue, Moa, Yui, one on each book. Uh, I've bought so many covers for that, by the way. I don't know. I, d I don't know <laughs> why. <laughs> what what am I doing? Uh, are they going to release something after the shows, like another tour? Are they going to release? release the release date of the album is there something going to happen on fox day next year Ugh. who knows because they're, they're going to australia to a festival which is good hooray for australia and then singapore so yui good luck in your future endeavors and i look forward to seeing if you ever do like something solo maybe you just want to do some singing and become an a solo artist with no dancing <laughs> Um, or if you heal perfectly and you want to become a dancer because she's such a good dancer. I mean, I mean they all are. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what what she does. And I'm looking forward to the future, this new era of baby metal. Like, I'm still so hyped. I I can never not like them, to be honest. Their music just speaks to me. It's just the perfect music to listen to. <laughs> yeah. So, no, this can't be the last time this pop is going to be in my video. <laughs> um, oh, I want to say something else. Um, the thing that actually makes me really, really sad is the people who are new fans this year will never get to see Yui. Oh my God, stop. That's what really makes me sad. And, um, oh my god. And the fact that, um, Lily, you all know Lily, um, we're really good friends, and through Twitter as well. Um, she's only seen Yui once, and that was when, um, they supported Red Hot Chili Peppers in the UK. So she's never seen a headline show with Yui in it. Oh, it just makes me so sad. So thank you for watching this video. I hope I've cleared up some of the things you might have been wanting to ask me. Obviously, comment down below. This could be like a therapy um, video and you can comment all your concerns down below and we can all talk to each other and it will be just one big happy family. <laughs> we are the one. Bye bye everyone.